Community Links is a community engagement company who involve themselves in the community regeneration process and give people participation in community events such as volunteering events and IT events. We cover Blantyre, Hamilton and the whole of South Lanarkshire up as far as Lark Hall. Last year was another successful year for the organisation and their participation in all the planning and the communications that we had with the local changing places boards and all the other people that we deal with. We had a successfully budgeted account on last year and we seem to be progressing towards next year as regards to the several level agreement with the local authority. The ICT project gives people the opportunity and families the opportunity who are digitally divided from the community to turn around and learn about ITC and then implement it into their daily lives and then they get a programme that they have to deal with so that they can actually not just have it but they actually use it. Last year we had 13 volunteers taking part and they totaled over a thousand uh, working hours. We've been associated with Community Links now for, for I, I don't know, at least six or seven years. Um, and over that period of time, we've obviously had a few IT companies involved in our business. And we've grown to trust Community Links and their IT project workers. The IT systems that we require here are getting more and more sophisticated. Uh, we have transactions each year that are equivalent to six million pounds. But we really needed to make sure that we trusted somebody and I, uh, the IT project workers, we cannot fault at all. At the end of the day, we try to support the local community in any way that we can. And if it's a local organisation that can offer that type of service, then we would look at it. This is why with Community Links, that we actually trust what they tell us. And I think that was one of the biggest parts in the decision that we actually paid, um, that we made at the time. However, I have to say that it was also a hard-nosed decision as well because they had to quote us for a maintenance contract and it was very competitive. And I certainly would urge other organisations in the area, if they're looking for IT support, look no further than Community Links. The Community Matters Papers is one of the best tools that we have for us, a bit of PR for who we are and how we put out and present all the partners' uh, information. It goes to all the households within our area and it's well received and it's well replied to and it gives us an option of doing some surveys and some other work within the community. All community buildings that anybody's familiar with, it could be the swimming pool, it could be the council offices, it could be the library or anything that anybody participates in, you will always find a copy of Community Matters sitting in easy access. The volunteers give two, approximately 2,000 absolutely valuable hours towards the volunteer work within the community. Sometimes maybe they're not getting unseen in the amount of work and effort they put into it. I've done a bit of what some other volunteers have done with a sort of consultation, doing the surveys and things like that, but I've also done a bit of mentoring as well. Um, I think in the early career they call it peer mentoring, even though it was with a woman that was about double my age. <laughs> it was in that was housebound in her 70s, um, sort of teaching her how to use the internet um, and utilise it more be because of her becoming housebound. And I think also it was a bit of company for her sometimes as well. If you're looking at it within work or out in public, it's definitely building skill sets in terms of dealing with strangers and having the confidence to talk to anyone essentially. If you're looking for work for example, you're not getting anywhere, you feel you know down about it, you can get into a downward spiral. Um, just giving something back and doing something and getting getting something back from that as well is, is, is priceless. You never know what it will lead to because it can lead to get make contacts, you make new friends and it opens up lots of new doors for you. If you said to me a couple of years ago I would have went, I would be doing, I'd be on the verge of doing freelance graphic design then I would have, I would have, you know, I would have probably laughed and said no, no, it's, it's something I would like to have done but not have the confidence to do perhaps um, and I'm now doing it and the uh, help of Community Links has, has, been a, has, a great, has been a great support. Well, we did 40 consultations speaking to over 1,500 people in very many and varied subjects that are vital towards what we want to achieve with the social inclusion and the community regeneration programme. You're not going to get the money if you can't prove that the project is a valid project and it works, so volunteers are very important when it comes to that because they're the ones that are out there doing the basic footwork to some extent. Face-to-face -face communication is the best way the people see you in the street, we actually get view of view, therefore we get an honest answer and we actually seem to get better replies and better responses and better results. Rather than seeing them as facts and figures, it's an individual, it's their opinion and it does matter. Working with the partners is one of the most successful things that I've enjoyed from it because what happens is we out there and see that everybody has a partnership part to play and the community get a big part of a partnership play. Working with the health board, 
the police, the education and changing places in the local authority themselves. We are now working collectively as a team and managing to achieve more because of that rather than working as individuals. Well, as Communities Minister, I'm very much in favour of community empowerment and the more empowerment we have in local communities, the better and the better those communities are. So I'm very, very supportive of the work of Community Links, in particular the Voice Project, which has been a tremendous success. Uh, we want to see it rolled out right across Scotland because what it's doing is giving voice to local communities and that's very important. You know, in these days when we're all talking about the global economy and worldwide this and worldwide that, sometimes we forget that every individual belongs to a local community and that community functions as a, a solid a, a society in its own right. Now it interacts with the rest of society and indeed interacts globally but the starting point is the local community and it's very important that communities come together and speak as a community and not just as a set of individuals. I'm proud of how we achieved last year under the face of adversity by the current financial situation. I also see and know that the board have an absolute positive attitude towards what's happening in the future. I'm looking forward to that challenge that we've got in the future. I feel as if we're positioned ourselves well for the future and if we work to our capacity and the manner which we've worked in previous years, I'm sure we'll be more than successful uh, in the future coming years.